Hi, this is Paul David Lampy reporting from the Oakland Tribune. Last week, I jinxed myself. I said everything was pretty much laid back, and this week, in short, it wasn't. It was a good week, but definitely a busy week. On Monday, I covered a press conference at the Oakland Police Department. There was an officer who shot a man he thought was trying to run away on 17th and Fruitvale Avenue. Tuesday, I got video of the Oakland Boat Clubhouse, but I could not get a single person to talk with me. Restrooms near the lake had spilled a leak into Lake Merritt over the weekend. I almost ended up in an argument with staff because I continually had to remind them that it was public property and I had every right to be there. At the end of the day, I wasn't able to use the video because I couldn't get a person to be on camera. Tuesday afternoon, I did man on the street interviews getting community members' reaction to the House of Representatives formally apologizing for slavery and Jim Crow laws. Most of the people I talked to said, what does an apology matter? The rest of the week, I, rep I had three more stories I worked on. Two of them are being published tomorrow, and one of them is still in the works. The first one is about uh, Friends of Faith. Um, the Friends of Faith walk is in two weeks, I believe, and Faith Fancher was a reporter for the local NBC affiliate here. She passed away in 2003 from breast cancer, but the walk helps to raise money for low-income women that are undergoing treatment for breast cancer. The second story that I have published tomorrow is about a municipal judge who died on Tuesday, and um, it was really great to actually report on him because a lot of the times you get to see somebody in a public sphere, but I was able to talk with family members and kind of understand who he was in his private life. And there was so much to learn about this man. He played three instruments, spoke five languages, loved to travel the world. So I had a great time talking with his family, and I felt really fortunate to be able to write that uh, that story. Um, this is my, well, next week is my last week, and the time has absolutely flown by. I, I seriously can't believe that next Friday is my last day at the Trib. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the NLGJA National Convention, and I hope to see you all there.